SNH, we decided a couple years ago that that um, you know we felt we had a great story to tell. You know, uh, my father started the business in '69 from around our kitchen table, and it's been family owned and operated since then. And a lot of you know, in the ag market, you know, most of the people know your dealership, but when you get into a rural lifestyle market, into a city type style market, they have no idea who you are. They may have all kind of misconceptions about who you are, what you do. And so we made it a concert, made a concerted effort to brand our business, and we got together with a company that um, special is with a TV station. They said, you know, we we want to come up with a brand, and they helped us to develop a jingle, um, a tagline, uh, and we developed some commercials. And since then, we've tried to roll it through all of our advertising and our website, and and. Um, our theme is you're in SNH country. We've got four stores through the southern part of Missouri and cover a fairly large area. And you know that the fact that when you live in SNH country, you know we try to offer the best products and um, people and support that that we can. And um, so by doing that, you know we, we've tried to we promote the family um, owned and operated for over 40 years. We promote service and we promote the product. And you know, for us, we carry some great brands, but when they're buying from SNH, they're buying from SNH, and we feel like that that is the most important thing, is is that we're SNH first, and when they buy from us, they're getting, you know, the sales guy that they talk with, they get the, the, the parts people, and the service, the delivery, the finance, all that. You get that in the support. You know, we've been around, and we're going to continue to be around, and we're here to to stand behind our product and, and everything we do. And, you know, next thing we want to support the brands and the equipment. And, you know, a lot of companies and a lot of commercials out there are all about the equipment, the brand first, and then the dealership second. And there's nothing wrong with that. But, you know, um, in the end, um, the dealership is, is, is what is number one and what, what pays my check and the, and the check of all of my employees and, and keeps everything going. So, and, and by doing that, you know, um, it, it's nice now in the rural markets, people through some TV advertising, some radio advertising, we've done some advertising that thinks outside the box on different things. They know who we are. And we feel like top of mind awareness is key. That if a person wants to buy a lawnmower or a compact tractor, they should think, oh, I've driven by SNH, I've seen SNH's commercials. You know, uh, commercials look like they're nice guys because, you know, Eric and his dad are on the, on the tail end of the commercial. They've been family owned for 40 years. And we want to have some warm and fuzzy or, or whatever, you know, you want to promote out there. It's like, okay, if I'm shopping around, I need to stop by there because of these reasons of why I want to shop there. And if you're not in the top three or five that people think of when they're wanting to buy any kind of equipment, you probably won't get called. So to me, branding is, is key. And if you're not having someone brand your dealership through logos and advertising, it's, it's very important for you to do that.